Christian Connor, and this is Scorpion News. Seniors, grad checks are all this month, so be sure you know what you're going to ask. Homecoming's just around the corner. There's a pep rally on October 7th to get you psyched for the game later that day. The homecoming dance is the following day, October 8th, so if you like dancing, be sure to attend. Do you want to win a car? I mean, literally, win a car? Let's watch this next segment and find out how. It takes us to go to class. This is a contest between high school students of nine high schools in the high desert. Students must have perfect attendance during the 2011-2012 school year. However, having perfect attendance means that students must be at school every day at least for three or more periods. Wait, 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 what? Yes, you can be at school for at least three periods a day as long as those absent periods are excused and you could still have perfect attendance. So as long as you have perfect attendance, you are able to be awarded this brand new Jeep Patriot. But it doesn't stop there. Students can also win gift cards, iPads, TVs, scholarships, and more. Plus, students winning these prizes are still able to win the Jeep. Then, the school with the most students with perfect attendance will win $1,000. So, Scorpions, go to class because it can be your chance to get a ride. I know I'm going to be here to win that car. Anybody interested in signing up for the PSAT? Sign up's October 3rd through the 6th, so be sure to sign up if you want to take that test on October 12th. Club Fair's coming up, guys. It's on October 19th and the 20th at lunch in the quad. So be sure to come on down to support your HHS clubs and buy all kinds of various goodies. Anyone want to attend the play? Harry Potter and the Obnoxious Voice will be performed every day between October 19th and the 22nd. It's $7 for adults to attend and $5 for students with an ASB card and children. The times are 7 o'clock every day with a bonus performance at 2 on Saturday. Now let's, t now let's take a look at some useful school tips. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kaylee Norcott here in the CCRC with Ms. Leslie Rockwell. So what's happening with the applications for Cal States? Well, there's 23 Cal States, and the big deal is the dates. The applications where seniors can apply, it, we talk about a window. The window opens on October 1st, but it slams shut November 30th. So if you want to apply to a Cal State, you only have for that short time. And what about UCs? UCs has a shorter window. That window opens up November 1st, and it slams shut also on November 30th. So I hear different speakers come from different colleges. Can you tell me more about that? There will be 15 to 20 different colleges coming to Hesperia High School this year to make a presentation for our juniors and seniors. We have everything from Laverne, Redlands, Biola, Cal Baptist, and Vanguard. So if you check the announcements and you hear the bulletin that a college is coming, come sign up to hear these college speakers. Is there a list of scholarships for seniors? There is a scholarship bulletin that comes out monthly. And scholarships can be confusing. That's where the WWW might help some seniors. We meet Wednesdays before school and after school, and that stands for Wednesday Walk-In Workshop. For seniors that are going to be going to a four-year college and they're a little bit confused, come on down to the CCRC on Wednesdays. And that's all for our look at the CCRC. Come on down to A6 to find out about life after high school. What you're about to see is a simple strategy to Cornell Notes. Be sure to pay attention as you can participate in a school-wide raffle to win a fabulous gift card. Students, if you do Cornell Notes, you could submit a sample of your work to collection boxes in either Ms. Kelly's office or the library. Be sure to include your name and the teacher's name whose class you wrote the notes in. All your submissions must be in one week from this broadcast, and students who bring in acceptable samples will have raffle tickets delivered to them. And teachers, if your student wins, you and your student will both win a gift card. All right, guys, thank you for having your notebooks and your paper out. We're going to start taking some Cornell notes today, and we're going to be talking about the Renaissance. And the Renaissance was an explosion of creativity, interest in art, philosophy, um, that starts in Italy, which is part of Southern Europe, but will eventually spread into Northern Europe. Now that I'm home, I could actually study my notes because I have a big test tomorrow. 
Renaissance, Renaissance and explosion of creativity in art, writing, and thought started in Northern Italy, lasted from 1300s to 1600s. Hmm, that's very interesting. A um, good question would probably be, when did the Renaissance start? Let's take out our notes, guys, so we can study. All right. So guys, where did the Renaissance start? It started in Northern Italy. And it lasted from 1300s to 1600s. Well guys, I think we're ready for the test. Oh wait, you guys forgot to write your summary. <laughs> After class, you remember ideally 100% of what has been said. By the next day, you only remember 30 to 50% of what has been said. By 30 days, you'll only remember two to three percent. When you study repeatedly, you recall more of this information more quickly. If you study 10 minutes, you can remember almost all of it. In a week, you can remember it in five minutes, and within a month, two to four minutes. Cramming does not work. Regularly studying does, so try it out and see how it works for you. That was some great information. Thanks, you guys, for those useful tips. Scorpions, do you want to see your varsity football team battle it out with Sultana for the key to the city? Then attend the key game October 28th here at Asperia High School. There will be a pep rally earlier in the day to get you pumped for the up and coming game. Do you guys need tips for the days? I'm sorry, that wasn't punny. You know what, let's just watch today's tip of the day. Hi, my name is Bobby Rosas and I'm Dylan Garrett and we're here to give you the tip of the day in food safety. So we're here to basically talk to you about the temperature danger zone and why the heck does it matter. The temperature danger zone is the temperature range in which bacteria and stuff that can make you sick can grow in food. That's between 41 degrees Fahrenheit and 135. Just so you know, bacteria grows fastest in a range of room temperature to 125 degrees Fahrenheit and never eat food that's been left in the danger zone for more than four hours. So, you go to some party that started six hours ago and you eat some chicken and now you're feeling sick because the chicken was contaminated. Don't eat food that's been left in the danger zone for more than four hours. Seniors, do you have a parking spot but don't know when to paint it? Then come on down to the senior parking spot painting party September 27th at 5 o'clock. There will be hot dogs and soda and all seniors are invited so be sure to come on down. Well that's it for this episode of Scorpion News. See you next time. What happened? No, it wasn't always like this. <coughs> I remember. I remember what it was like before this. The apocalypse. <laughs> it's not what I thought it would be. Ever seen those movies? The ones about what the world would look like after the end? <coughs> Doesn't look much like those movies, huh? But it wasn't always like this. I remember when it all began a year ago.